Hey guys, Seven WWE Rocks here, and looks like with Ring of Honor's latest talent announcement that they need to stand back because there's a hurricane coming through. So yes, if you missed it, Shane the Hurricane Helms, none other than you know the so-called. Uh, not so called, I'm sorry, the legend himself, you know, working in so many different companies, uh, working with the Hardy Boys in TNA, WWE, WCW, um, you know, he's done it all pretty much. Um, and had such a fun character where he look back, has great moments with The Rock, with Stone Cold, and uh, most recently, I believe, his like big mainstream thing in the most recent, um, uh, in this year, uh, he entered the Royal Rumble. I think he was quickly eliminated by John Cena. I'm pretty sure he went out really, really quick. Um, but we last saw him in WWE at the Royal Rumble. We've seen him in TNA, you know, uh, maybe last year, I believe. And um, Ring of Honor, just out of the blue, really. Um, Shane Helms tweeted uh, a picture of himself in the superhero outfit, you know, um, the back towards, I guess, the camera and uh, Ring of Honor logo in the top corner. So I thought, um, that's really interesting. And I'm going to Ring of Honor next week, and I thought, it'd be pretty cool if he was at my show. And that's what's happening. He is debuting at the show I'm going to. I'm going to San Antonio, which is June 15th. Um, and then he'll be there June 16th, the following night in Dallas. And he'll be at the uh, TV tapings in Virginia, June 30th. So he hasn't been announced for Best in the World yet, but I feel like with those dates um, right before Best in the World, I feel like he will. Be, he should be there, I would think. Um, and I'm happy about it. I honestly am. I, I if, And if you saw Twitter's reaction in the comment section, it looked like everybody was actually really, really happy with it. And that's great to see. I hate when a company brings in someone and, you know, the fans are pissed off or whatever. Um, but I, they were happy about it. But then if you go on Facebook, the Facebook comments are much, much worse. Uh, they are really pissed. They are, you know, just criticizing Ring of Honor for bringing in a so-called legend, is what they're saying, um, and saying this is, you know, ridiculous, and this is, like, a stupid stunt that they're doing. Uh, but honestly, Ring of Honor, with their veterans, with their legends, I feel like they always do it in a, in a good way, honestly, with, you know, dating back to Terry Funk, Bruno San Martino, uh, Raven, Mick Foley, um, most recent, Bully Ray. I mean, I think they do pretty well with their legends and the veterans and putting them in matches. Tommy Dreamer as well. Um, are they perfect? No, obviously not. Not every company's perfect, um, and they're going to make mistakes and whatnot, but I'm pretty happy. I feel like the legends and all these people, they don't just get thrown into the world title picture or whatever. I feel like everything they do is meaningful, and it really helps whatever talent they're working with. Um, it really helps them rise up. So, already two people are calling out the hurricane. We got... Uh, Punishment Martinez tweeted at him basically saying, um, you better not even be thinking about stepping in the ring and Ring of Honor because I would drop you. And then Shane Taylor as well. They got into, him and Hurricane got into a heated uh, confrontation, if you will, on uh, Twitter, uh, which is kind of funny to say. But um, they got into a heated argument. So I, I would think with San Antonio, his debut... I would believe, because Shane Taylor, if I'm looking at the people that have, that have still yet to have announced and ma have a match announced for that show, Shane Taylor does not have one. So I would think uh, Hurricane versus Shane Taylor would be good. Maybe Hurricane versus Silas Young just have like a really, really fun match and kind of tease that he's going to win the championship or whatever. Um, Flip Gordon's on there as well. Uh, Punishment Martinez is on there as well. So maybe they do Punishment Martinez and, and Hurricane that night. Uh, but Shane Taylor's doing something in Dallas. He's versing Cody Rhodes, and Punishment Martinez has the TV title match. Um, so, I don't know. It looks like the people that are feuding with him um, already have something for Dallas, so I don't know what he's going to do in Dallas, but um, San Antonio, he could, you know, face anybody. And he's at the meet and greet. He was already announced for the meet and greet, so I'm hoping to meet him, the Young Bucks, um, just have a great time at the wrestling show. I love Ring of Honor shows. I know... Uh, a lot of people were, were tweeting this thing saying what's the most overrated uh, wrestling company in the world right now and a lot of people were saying Ring of Honor and I just don't think that at all. Um, I love Ring of Honor. I love going to shows and I just think there's something not to be taken so seriously with wrestling. But that's just my opinion. Maybe I'll make a video talking about what company I think is overrated. I kind of hate that, though, because I don't want to be so neg negative about a, a wrestling company. I think we should just all love, guys. Let's get, get to the love. Um, so... Hurricanes coming to Ring of Honor. I'm happy with it. If it sells tickets, um, they're in a uh, big theater. It's usually where NXT is when they come to San Antonio. So I want them to freaking sell out as many tickets and seats as possible. I would hate to get there and see, you know, empty rows and such. So whatever helps bring in people, I'm, I'm okay with. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on if you uh, are happy with the Hurricane being in Ring of Honor. Uh, I think it's cool. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, have a great day.